Hello, I'm Jamie Costello with the RWMAR 2 News Update. An officer-involved shooting that started as a police chase in Baltimore County ended in Elkridge with two of the three suspects hurt. Thursday afternoon, Baltimore County Police spotted a suspect in a shooting from earlier this week, and they say the driver and two other men in the car led police on a 10-mile chase, a speed chase. Officers then fired on the car. Two suspects had to go to the hospital. The third was taken into custody right there at the scene. Police also told us that a gun belonging to one of the suspects was recovered at the scene, but it's still unclear if that gun was ever fired. <coughs> CVS Health is now planning to open 17 new COVID-19 testing sites at CVS pharmacies and the drive throughs all across the state. They will open Friday at stores on Annapolis Road in Severn, Philadelphia Road in Baltimore and Liberty Road in Frederick. Employees at the locations will then use swab tests. CVS Health hopes to have 1,000 of these testing sites all across the country by the end of this month. There are a lot of scams going on right now, and we have some tips for you to avoid them. Angie Barnett of the Better Business Bureau serving Greater Maryland says unemployment scams right at the top of the list, especially with so many people out of work. It could be particularly devastating if you get roped into one of these bogus offers. I would go straight to the source. Don't use a phone number on the application, on the website. Go to a different source and contact that potential employer and say, are you hiring? Barnett provided a lot of important information about other scams going around. You can see the full conversation on our WMAR 2 News Facebook page. And we're looking at a rainy start to your Friday. Temperatures will be mild in the low 60s and will warm into the 70s eventually, but the chance of showers will be in the forecast for the day. Daytime highs tomorrow will climb into the lower 70s for most of us, upper 60s for the folks in the northernmost communities. And as we extend out that seven-day forecast, we do see some numbers that are warmer for Saturday, chance of showers and storms, and then slightly cooler as we head into Sunday and Monday, only warming into the lower 70s, but drier. But by Wednesday, temperatures return to the 80s. All right, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there in the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.